In this video, I wanted to talk about a gun bunch passing concept that you might want to be adding to your offense in Madden 22. Now, if you are new to the channel, I want to ask you to go ahead and click the subscribe button down below. It's completely free to subscribe to the channel and it just allows you to be able to stay up to date with the latest tips and strategies that we release every single day here on the YouTube channel. So go ahead and hit that subscribe button down below if you're interested in all that. Also, I want to let you know that if you want to get my full Gun Bunch offensive ebook, today we're going to be in the Carolina Panthers offensive playbook. But if you want to get my full Gun Bunch offensive ebook, I'm going to put a link to my Patreon membership in the description where you can sign up for that for just $10 a month and it unlocks everything over at the membership. So it's a great way uh, to get better at the game, in my opinion. Uh, again, the cool part about the membership is you're not only going to get access to the Gun Bunch offense, but you're actually going to get access to every offense and defensive ebook that we've released so far in the season, and you're also going to get access to any uh, updates to that um, that we've released over the course of the season as well, and any new ebooks that we're going to release. So the cool part is you already get 20 ebooks right off the bat and updates. But then if we were as we release new updates, which we update it typically every week, and as we release new ebooks, um, you're going to be able to get access to all that again for the same price. Now the play that I wanted to talk about uh, today, there's so much that you can do with Gun Bunch, and the more um, creative you can be with it, I think the harder it makes makes it for the opponent um, to stop it. So the play that I wanted to talk about today is Y Curl, and how you can build a really good passing offense around this 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 concept. Now, if they look here, you're going to notice that if we were to go to verticals, you're going to see that if I go to verticals, the wheel route is coming from the tight end position, as you can see. Um, so I, I can hit the tight end wheel route. But what's really cool about Y curl is the wheel route is actually going to be coming from the slot receiver. Now, why would that be beneficial? Well, it's beneficial because now my slot receiver, I can hit in the seam wheel area and then that allows me to do something additional i could either take the tight end and put him on a blocking pattern i could do i mean there's so many things i can do with him you see right here that it now opens up another window of the seam for me to be able to hit now my advice would be you would want to run this with your bunch to the left of the field or your i'm sorry your bunch on the short or your bunch to the wide side of the field uh, will make this the best that it can be and then the real cool concept is this backside wheel route, which I'll talk about in just a second. But if you take a look here, this is against cover four. And you'll notice that, again, you can kind of throw this in the seam. And if you want to try to click on, you can. Now, notice that the yellow zone did play it fairly decently. Okay, If we want the yellow zone to not play that so good, what we can do is simply flat the uh, tight end and then uh, post that guy right there. You see it creates this seam. Okay. So that's a simple way that we can get around it if we want to have a little bit better of a five out type of play. Uh, we could also simply just flat Scotty Miller and motion him out just like verts. And what you'll see that this will do is, again, it kind of holds the yellow zone, which is key. Okay. So those are a couple of different ways that we can run this on the left side. One of the other things I want you to show you is, or on the, on the bunch side, is against man to man. You'll see here that just like any wheel route this year, this wheel to the to the slot, let me see if I can get it here. You'll see this wheel to the slot, you can low ball this and it beats man to man. And to illustrate this a little bit more cleanly, uh, we'll go to the Mike Blitz three or the Mike Blitz zero. And what you'll see here is again, see how I can cut that off. So I'm low ball, low passing inside and I'm beating man consistently. To me, that's a huge deal. Um, that's a huge, huge deal. So I can low ball inside, and you see how it's just so it's a tough thing to guard. And what I again, my recommendation with this would be to motion this guy to the outside. And then if you want to streak the tight end, you certainly can do that. That's not a bad idea because um, if they go to the, the right, you could just throw the seam. Most people aren't going to run cover four against bunch. Most people are going to be running cover three. And against cover three, you'll see you're going to get a little bit better of a of a scenario. Now let's talk about this left side. And this left side is really, really good for a lot of situations. So a lot of people, when they defend on the left, they're going to do one of three things. They're going to man the guy up, they're going to play cover two, or they're going to play cover three. 
Cover four real quick, what you'll see here is you could cut this off against against everything. And if you have deep out elite, it's gonna make it even better because he's not gonna drop the ball. The other thing is if the zones pull back, so if they're not playing a hard flat, um, they're playing like purples, what you'll see is I can easily hit this running back route over and over again. Just pass lead that outside. You see how he catches it in stride, and it's an automatic six to seven yards every single time. Let me show that again. Again, this is a quarter flat. He can't get out there. Easy yards. And, and what's really good about this route is, again, the trajectory at which you can throw this, he's backed off. You can throw that up for about seven to ten yards every single time. It's just a simple route. Now, if you wait on this route, if we wait on that guy to go down, he goes down, then I can possession catch that in the seam. So very good route for that as well. It's not as good against cover four as it is against other coverages. So let's talk about cover three. If it's cover three, same thing. See, I can throw the running back, the purple climbs, and I can throw that running back route for you know several yards. So what they have to do is they have to play hard flat. Well, the problem with that is that makes that seam route more open, and it also is going to make something else more open, provided that you have time. If you have time in the pocket, what you'll notice is that this hard flat, it won't go upfield with the running back. And you'll see the wheel uh, to the running back really take advantage of it. Uh, and I'll show that one more time. So you got your seam, getting up the seams, getting up the seams. And then you see there, the running back route gets over the top. Okay. And then cover three is basically the same. So they play hard flat. You know, I can low ball right there and still beat it just like a normal wheel if I wanted to. And then I could also, against cover three, it's a little bit easier, just hit the seam. So you see how good that is against cover three. Cover two, we'll show that real quick. So if it's a traditional cover two, you'll see that this gets open early. And that's one of my favorite plays to hit against cover two because the vert hook really isn't paying attention. And if you want to, you can drag the tight end. But what you'll see here again, see how he's down looking at the wheel? And I can throw that right in the middle, cut it off, and make a nice catch. Now if they, and that's not shading down. If they shade up, if they shade up in the cover two, you'll notice this plays it a lot better up the seam. So shaded up, vertical hook plays that seam a lot better. The problem is their, their integrity of their whole defense is now taken away because you see that just by shading up alone, again, we're back into that seven to 10 yard check down right there, easy read, get the ball to your hands and get some yardage. If they shade down, it basically, um, you see here again, you see once he gets on the sideline, he can turn a field, and it's a really easy completion. Now, what's even better about this left side is what it can do against man. So if they run man-to-man -man on you, what you'll see here, whoops, threw that too early. Um, what you'll see here is an aggressive catch opportunity that you can do with Mike Evans. So if you get man, you can just lob this over the top and have a chance at a one-on-one. -on -one. It's not a bad read, okay? Um, and the other thing that you can do with this, notice that sometimes in man, he's not gonna get jammed. So you see that? I can low ball right there, and that can be an option. I'm just telling you right now, the defenders, the way they react in coverage this game, a lot of times they're not gonna defend that, okay? So if I get man coverage and I get man to me, just pass lead that, pass lead that, um, pass lead that, you know, down and inside, or you can even pass lead that away to the outside. There's a lot of windows that you could hit this, this route to Mike Evans. Let me show that again. I'm just getting screamed at by Kyle Duggar, which is fine. Again here, boom. You don't see, and that's what you don't want to do. That's why I like to low ball. So when you don't low ball, they will react a little bit better in that coverage. But this is uh, press man. If it's shaded up man, see how that's always there. So, you know, that's an advantage. And then the other thing that you have, like I said, is you're blocking your tight end most of the time with this. So, you know, now if they blitz you, you don't only have that left side guy, you have the right side guy. And then you have the wheel. 
and that wheel route is really good. Like it's it's better than a it's better than a normal wheel, just because of the way that it works. See how it gets so good separation against man. It's really good against man. Um, if you wanted to even, if you want to throw it like right there, he'll keep running like that. And look at that little animation. That's something that you can do against anything. And that's what's really interesting about that route is it's kind of like a combination of a table route and a wheel. Um, so you'll see here, like if it's man, I can just throw it and then I can rack catch it. A lot of times you're going to break that tackle and you have such a window to do this and i'll show it again um, but what you'll see here again just pass lead that out throw it just a little bit too or, or late there let me show you, you got to work on the timing a little bit on this one but i'm just telling you from experience with this play if you want to really mess with people just throw this outside you get that rat catch a lot of times you're going to break a tackle or a lot of times they'll whiff on the tackle and then you know this can become a really really nice little play Okay, and then again, if they're gonna get under, if they get underneath it, like this guy's doing, if they get underneath it, that's fine. Just wait on it and low ball it, and you see how good of a route that is. So this is a play that you could be very creative with as well. Um, another concept that you can run off of this is a corner, a street corner flat off of this. So you have a two man on the backside here, and then you have this street corner flat, which I think is a great way to kind of run this in addition to the other setup that I gave you. And then one other play, one other little uh, setup uh, for this play would be to go ahead and take Godwood and put him on a flat. And then what we're gonna do with, um, or I'm sorry, not, not Godwin, um, take Godwin and put him on a post and Miller and put him on a flat. And this is just gonna give us a nice little check down read here, real simple to this curl, sits underneath, very good route that you got in this play. And if you don't have a, if you don't have a, like if you can't do that, then just put them on a street. That's fine. Just do this. I mean, this is simple. You don't have to have Hot Rod Master. And it's still one of the best plays in Madden. So thanks for watching the video. That's it. If you want to try that concept out, Carolina Playbook. We've also got a breakdown on it in our Patreon ebook on this. Be sure to join the Patreon. Every ebook all year, every update all year, $10 a month. You get access to everything. Several hundred of breakdowns in there for you so much and i think it's really going to help you get better at the game so if you want to sign up for that there's a link in the description below and you can sign up right now so head on down to the description if you want to sign up for the patreon click the link that i put down there for you and go check it out